Hi YouTube, I've got a question about how to update the value of a node in an OPC UA server every two seconds. I have already made a video in which I have shown you how to use callback functions to connect the nodes to a physical process. And in this callback function the value of a node was only updated if a client wants to read this node. But in some cases it makes sense to update the value of nodes in a fixed interval and in today's video I will show you how to do this. Okay, I've prepared a little thing already. So here you can see um, the minimal code for a OPC UA server written with the library open 62541. The only thing I've added is a variable node here and this variable node has the string node ID um, random number in namespace 1 and I have initialized it with the value 0 and this is a node we want to update every 5 seconds. Down here we can see the function uaserver run and this function takes all the handling of the OPC UA server, the incoming clients, the responses to the read and write requests and so on. And the problem with this function is as long as the server is running we will stay inside this function. Only if the variable running um, change from true to false, the function will be exited and the server will be shut down. So let's take a look at the open 6251 GitHub page, how they implemented the function UA server run. Okay, so here in the R now I will try to make this a little bit bigger. Here we have the function UA server run and as you can see here here we start the server with the function UA server run startup. Here we check if the startup was successful. And down here we have a loop, uh, an endless loop, as long as the test shutdown condition of the server are not met. Um, this will be executed. And what will be executed here we have the function UA server run iterate. This function um, is one iteration of the server's um, handling and down here we check if the, if the um, variable running we passed here um, changed from true to false and if so we shut down the server with the function UA server run shutdown. So I will take mostly the source code and add in this loop here the updating of our variable of our variable node. So back in the source code I will delete the function UA server run here and I will change the return value to or let's make it a little bit different here. So we have seen to start up the server we need um, to call the function UA server startup and it only has the argument of the so a pointer to the server's instance and to shut down the server so we can test if this was successful let me check okay um, So if this wasn't successful we will delete our server's instance and we will return the return with the stored return value here. Okay, then I will create a loop. As long as running is true we will execute the loop and here we will do the um, server 
and for the server handling we need the function us server run iterate and this needs as an argument um, a pointer to our server instance and a true and down here we will update update uh, update uh, variable node okay and the last thing we have to do is to um, shut down the server after we press control C and um, to yeah, to exit the server all we have to do is to press control C then our stop handler up here will be executed and this will set our global variable running to false and so this loop is no longer executed and the server will shut down down okay so that's it now all we have to do is to add um, some code to update the value of the variable node and for this I need a variant value I have to I will generate a random number with the rand function here and I will print it out so we can see it the value has changed new random number well okay and now all we have to do is to write this um, this value in the server excuse me okay and to update the variant the variant value to the server we need the function us server write value the next argument is the node id which we have up here okay and the last argument is our new value okay and that's that's it but now we have a problem every time we execute this loop the variable will be updated so maybe you can think oh no problem let's add a little you sleep here add some time to sleep and then everything will work fine but adding some sleep time here has some disadvantages one disadvantage is our run iterate function is all only executed every five seconds and this is sometimes too low because we have to meet some um, response times and if we don't respond in the right time our client will crash so we won't use use sleep here we will use timestamps instead so for using timestamps I will um, include time.h and with the function and here I will create stamp, a timestamp the function time 0 gives us a current timestamp it's a unix timestamp where you get the seconds passed till um, I think the 1st January of 1970 and as we want to update our value every 5 seconds I will add a 5 I will add 5 seconds here and so only if our current timestamp is greater than um, our last stored timestamp we will executing the code here and updating the value and here we have to um, store a new timestamp so our value will be updated in the next 5 seconds and that's it. That's how to um, update the value of a um, to update the value of a node 
in a cycle time. So now let's compile the program by using the C compiler of the GNU compiler collection and as we're using the open 6251 library we have to specify it here. Okay, I have a value here. Oh, it's random var, not random well. Okay, I have to fix it. Random var. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, and now let's start the server. And now we should see that every five seconds the value, our random value, should be initialized with a new value. Okay, looks good. But now let's test if we are able to um, read this value back from the from a client. For this purpose I will use the OPC UA client from the free OPC UA project. So let's create a client's instance and try to connect. Okay, now we are connected. Okay. And now let's try to read the value print um, client get node. Uh, namespace is one and the string is random number. Okay, and we want to get the value. And then we will sleep five seconds. Uh, okay, I've missed uh, to close a bracket here of the print. So now, okay, looks good. Okay, and now, okay, the new, we got the new value. So it seems the value is up, will be updated every five seconds. That's great. So that's how to update the value of a node in a given interval, time interval. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.